Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Hope you've had a lovely time off. And Bertie says hello as well. And I thought I'd kick off the new year with Best in Beauty and this is my makeup, Best in Makeup. Grab yourself a coffee, I've got a cappuccino, um, and get comfy. Now look, this isn't gonna be a huge, massive um, makeup thing because this is the only kind of things I use. I don't really change things up that much. I used to, but now I'm at this point where um, what works works and I stick with it. And when I love something, I love it and I just continually use it. So do you know what? You're gonna see some stuff that's not even new, that's like I've had for like 20 years, but I'm still using. But you know, let's be real here. This is what I'm using. So let's begin. Start off with Oh, Bertie's, I dropped, I dropped a box of Quality Street on the floor and now they're everywhere. I've picked them up and it's probably one gone under the sofa and he's scratching away at it, but hopefully it'll be fine. Bertie, I've removed it now. It's not there. Hey, Bertie. God knows how much things is under that sofa. Hold on. So I'm going to start off with like base and, you know, for me... The foundation that I've absolutely, like the best of the best for me has been double wear. I have loved this. I have been wearing it more than you know I love my Bare Minerals, but I have just been loving this on its own and particularly this shade. This is the um, 3N1 Ivory Beige, which I've got on today. And then this is the 2W Dawn. You know what, there is something about the shades I always say this with foundations, you know, some foundations you think don't work, but it's always a particular shade that seems to work. And this, I know it's quite dark, but when you apply it like with fingers, it just gives a nice glow. And because it's a neutral tone, it's got a peachy undertone. So it automatically gives the skin a bit of a glow. It's so hard to describe. Whereas I think lighter shades tend to look a bit more chalky. I don't know why, but they do but I love this foundation. For me, this foundation, every time, I, you know, like there's a new Charlotte Tilbury one and I'm thinking, oh my God, I wanna try it. But for me, this holds up on my skin. It doesn't rub off my nose or chin. It doesn't look chalky at the end of the day. It doesn't look cakey. It always looks good and it always performs. And for me, that is a winner. So why change it, do you know what I mean? So for me, it's, it's double wear. For a lighter base, a tinted moisturiser, during the summer, I loved It Cosmetics CC Cream. It was the first time I've ever tried it. And I wore this like throughout the summer. We had a massive heat wave and it was hot. And I just loved adding this. It's got the SPF 50. Whack it on when you wanna go for a walk. Don't wanna do much else. Your skin's protected. It gives a nice coverage, nice glow. And it's a really nice alternative um, to foundation. I mean, it is basically a foundation, but you can just pop it on with fingers. So for me, it's a tinted moisturizer. Um, and I have the shade medium. Then for concealer, I have absolutely been loving the Estee Lauder Double Wear. This is in the shade uh, two neutral light medium. This is just a really smooth concealer. I love my Tarte Shape Tape, but sometimes it's just, when you're doing a lighter makeup look, the Tarte Shape Tape can just look too much. Whereas this just highlights and smooths and brightens. It doesn't crease, it doesn't look cakey, it sets really nice, and again, it lasts all day. So I really, really love this. And the other concealer is the Infallible More Than This. I have loved this to add in with other concealers. So on the corner, in the corner of my eyes and as an eyeshadow base, it just brightens up the eyelids. I've got the shade, it's quite um, bright, cashmere, but it brightens up the eyelids. So your eyeshadows go on really nicely and then it brightens up the inner corners of the eyes because I like to have that bright, wide awake effect. And I mix it with any concealer I'm using and it's just fabulous, really, really good. Excellent dupe for Tarte Shape Tape, an amazing price. Then powder, I've been using the Laura Mercier. I just, I go on and off this one, but lately I've just, well, in the year I've just loved it. It's just set everything. If I'm in a rush and don't want to have time to set my under eyes, I just use this all over. Um, and it just, it just sets your makeup and it just looks nice. What can I say? Talking of setting, setting sprays, 
Urban Decay All Nighter. This for me is just, I've used it for years. I love it. I don't, unless something was sent to me, I wouldn't go and try something else because I know this works. When I know something works, I'm hard pressed to change it. Um, I just bought, there was a set that you get two for the price of one. So this, this is what I've just bought because I finished my last one. I use it every day. I just love how it makes my makeup look. It doesn't just set, but it kind of like brightens everything and freshens everything. And it just, it looks really good. <coughs> Bertie. It's, um, yeah, so love, love that. You know, if your makeup slips off or um, with your mask or anything, then this is, you know, I'm out walking a lot, I'm in the rain, I'm in all seasons, and this, you know, my makeup is on. I don't have to worry about it, do you know what I mean? Perfect. Right, we're, okay, we're still on the face. Now, there's nothing there, Bertie, because I've taken it away. Bronzer. Now, this is like going back old. Hula. I have reached for Hula in 2021 like no other. I, I don't, you know when you're like, oh, I haven't used that for a while, and suddenly you use it, but I've been using it with a big, pointed, fluffy bronzer brush, and it's just, got it on today, it just gives such a nice bronze. I mean, it's just lovely, and I can't put it down, and I've got so many bronzers to use, but this is just, and I remember finding this really hard to use before, and I used to use the little um, brush with it, but now I just use a big fluffy brush so it gets a really light application, and it just looks great, and I love it. And speaking of blush, again, I was thinking like, what blush have I used the most? And I'm like, I can't think, I can't think of what I've used, have I even used blush? Yes, I have, but then I realized the only blush I've been using is Benefit Dallas. So I've got it on as well today. So old school so old school but i use this every day this is so old this is probably about oh my god i'm gonna have a coffee bit <coughs> this is probably about 10 years old i you know but i love it again it just gives that kind of natural flush it goes with the bronzer very well and it just looks like you've had a nice um walk in the park it just and that's, that's what I wear now. If I want a bit of glow on top of this, it will be the NARS Orgasm because it's just, again, this on its own is not enough for me. This won't show up. This will be like a highlighter. But over the top of Dallas, which I've got it on today, you see you get this glow. It's just, it's a peachy glow. And I, I'm here for it, you know? There we go. Um, what next? Should we go... Should we go eyes, then lips? Yeah, okay, so eyes, and this is what I've got my eyes today. I don't know if you'll be surprised, but it is the Stone Cold Fox palette by Colourpop. I love this. I absolutely loved it. Um, I've showed this to you a thousand times. The colours in this are just, every single colour is amazing, right? Every single colour is amazing. But you've got the perfect amount of shimmers, the perfect amount of mattes, You've got a dark brown, a black. You can do your eyeliner with this. You can do smoky eyes. You can do shiny eyes, shimmery eyes. I just love this. And I've got this on my eyes today. And I just, it's just, I can't, I can't go for anything else at the moment. It sits on my top and I'm like, mm, no, yeah. So I just, I just stick with it. I use it. I use it for blending under the eye. I use it for everything. I just think it's the best palette ever. It's the first thing I've ever used from Colourpop. And the quality is unbelievable. Now, eyeliner. I, I've given up on the liquid liner, right? I've been trying for ages um, with my Benefit roller. And I thought, you know what? I don't, I don't like this eyeliner business. It's not working for me. Forget it. I like a pencil. And my favourite pencil, I've got it on today, is the Estee Lauder. Look at this. This is how much I love it. I've broken it. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Pencil in Coffee. I have gone through so many of these. It has this amazing little pointed sponge at the bottom and I use this. I literally just rub this against my lash line and then I pull out so I can get a liner like that. And look, it's just as good as liquid liner. It just looks softer. And the brown is dark enough that, it's so in, that it gives a bit of intensity. I just... 
I just can't do liquid liner. I've, I, you, some, you've seen me do my videos and sometimes I can do it and sometimes I can't. And when I need to do it, like I'm going somewhere or, you know, it, I, I always mess it up. So I'm like, it's annoying me. I never mess this up. It's just easy. So I'm sticking with it. So yeah, this, this pencil. Um, brows, Glossier Boy Brow, love it. I'm kind of a little bit over the penciling. I kind of want my brows to just look a bit more natural, but color, I, you know when you put your foundation on, they kind of lose the color. I like to have them kind of quite rich. So the boy brow has been really good. And this is the shade brown. I think it's brown. Really love this. Okay, now mascara, hourglass unlocked incredible this is a tubing mascara so it just rinses off with warm water this i heard so much about this and i was like really but the hype is real it's amazing lashes just look so long and gorgeous especially if you want to really double up on it and really pile the mascara on then it is just beautiful mm. then okay lips best lip liner by far, Charlotte Tilbury. These lip liners, they're goof-proof. Absolutely goof-proof. Gorgeous consistency. They last. Even when your lipstick disappears, your liner is still on. They are incredible. Love them. This is Pillow Talk, which is my favourite. And going on for lipsticks, the best lipsticks of 2021 for me, of course, Charlotte Tilbury and Bare Minerals Mineralist. I have loved... The consistency of this bare minerals this, especially this color this is um focus this is that nude i'm obsessed with it absolutely adore it charlotte tilbury amazing consistency this is the shade nude romance it's actually very similar to my bare minerals one but again i love her lipsticks the consistency of them they feel so soft and pillowy they're moisturizing the colors are great they sit on the lips beautifully they're a joy to put on. The packaging's gorgeous. You can't go wrong. You cannot go wrong with a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. Lip gloss. You know I've oh, you know I've spoken about this before. This is the Oh My Gloss by Rimmel. I've got it on today. Incredible find for 2021. Unbelievable. Throw away your Chanel. <laughs> this lip gloss is insane. Like, it's so moisturising, so hydrating. Um, and this is the shade 130 per Glossy Cat. I have to get other, other colours of this. But this particular shade I love. It's just so nice. And I've paired it with this liner. And it just looks, it just looks amazing. I just love it. So, and that's lips. And that, my loves, is it. Yeah. That's my best of makeup 2021. That is everything that I have used for the entire year. So the only new thing I bought was the boy brow, the lip gloss, and the concealer that year. But everything else is stuff that I've used for years. And, you know, if it's not broke, do you know what I mean? So... There we go. I was, I'm late to the party with this video because I was thinking, you know, do I, do I do this best of because I don't have anything new. I use the same stuff all the time. But then again, I think people like to see that you're just like them and, you know, you don't buy piles of makeup all the time. So I think it's a little bit more relatable. So there we go. I hope you're all well. I am going to come back with a 2022 intentions video. I just want to maybe, maybe we want to have a chat about what we are looking forward to in 2022, what I'd like to achieve. I think it's always good to, to speak it out. Do you know what I mean? Not just keep it in your head. Um, you know, just have a little discussion about how I'm feeling about this, this upcoming year and um you know things to look forward to so i hope you're well let me know below what you'd like to see from me this year let me know how you've been doing if you're all right um and some of your favorites of 2021 and i look forward to seeing you in my next video bye